first of all, I want to say happy 79th anniversary to Wood Green Community Services. What an incredible milestone. I'm very happy to be here and to share this uh, moment with you. And it's great to see my colleagues here, uh, Arthur Potts from uh, Beaches East York and Peter Tabbins from Beaches, no, oh, no. oh yes, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not the Speaker of the House, so I, would, I don't always get all the writings uh, right, but uh, we're all obviously very good colleagues and uh, I'm glad that they could both be here with me. So I want to start by um, saying that Wood Green is um, a key contributor uh, to newcomer success, and we know you've been doing this for almost eight decades now, so it's really heartwarming to think that the first wave of people that you've helped are now bringing up new generations of Ontarians. I come from an immigrant family myself, and uh, I understand uh, the work that it takes to, to succeed and uh, to be accepted. Um, now I look at my own children, and now I'm also a nonna. I, we have two grandchildren, and I see that uh, immigration is truly a part of Ontario's fabric. But it's, it's really more than that. It's how we succeed. It's um, how we grow as, uh, uh, as a province. And it's really how we create the workforce for our future. Um, as uh, as a member of Premier's, uh, Premier Wynne's uh, cabinet, I'm a new member of the cabinet, I'm very pleased that our ministry uh, provides support to your tremendous work through the Newcomer Settlement Program. Uh, I know that uh, Wood Green uses phrases like um, an open door, yes, instead of a, for example, a no, or um, uh, just n not making uh, making something possible here. It can j change everything. Coming here can change everything, and you can get a second chance. So your commitment and your uh, your passion, I think, is really captured in uh, those words. And it's the spirit that drives you to help thousands of people that come through your doors that talk to your staff that then go on to get uh, a job interview and to get an, a new home that really makes that difference. And I know that you've also been instrumental in helping youth at risk. I have many of those even in the writing that I represent as an MPP, the writing of York Southwestern. And we know that younger newcomers can face particular challenges. It can be hard to fit in, fit in and, and it can be hard to find your way in a new culture. I had to go through that as a teenager when my parents couldn't make up their mind where they were going to live, whether it was Canada or Italy, and uh, I would um, change country uh, every six months to a year and have to make new friends. But because it was repeated and repeated, it became familiar to me, but the first few times um, it can be very hard. And we didn't have the supports that are uh, instead available now. And uh, I think that it, that's incredible. It's really uh, great, the work that you do, where you help youth connect with their community, engage with their community. It's a very valuable service, and it makes tremendous difference, especially when we're talking about youth at risk, youth in general, but youth at risk in particular. Uh, I want to also say that I think that immigration in our province is truly a partnership between uh, the government, the newcomers, and agencies uh, such as yours. Um, and only t working together, we can make a difference and make immigrants succeed. Um, as I mentioned earlier, and as some of you may know, I was recently appointed as uh, Minister of Citizenship and Immigration, and I have to say that one of the one one of the aspects of my job that I enjoy the most so far is certainly helping uh, immigrants succeed uh, and and build their new life here. It's probably because of my own experience, but I think that that's one of the most rewarding aspects of the jobs that, that I've been given. Uh, I love to meet people. I love to shake their hands. I love to say welcome. And I love to listen to personal stories. And, uh, and every time I'm inspired,
inspired. I'm inspired by what I hear. Um, I think that immigration and diversity um, help strengthen our province, and they also make a difference uh, in giving us uh, an advantage in the, the global economy, as uh, we call it these days. So that's why uh, our ministry uh, invests over $100 million in settlement and integration services, and I, I, I believe that's a, a valuable investment. Uh, it's important that immigrants settle and succeed quickly, because when they do, that's when Ontario succeeds as well. It's that simple. So I think it takes a village, and at Wood Green, I would say that village is made up of your staff, it's made up of your volunteers, it's made up of your leaders, uh, and the difference that you make is because you do care. Uh, and that's why you've been so successful. That's how you're getting good results, and we're aware of that. Um, I want to thank you for everything that you do, for the difference that you're able to make in people's lives in a tangible way uh, every single day. So thank you for inviting me, uh, for making me a part of this important milestone, and once again, a very happy 79th anniversary to Wood Green Community Services.